do not use ChatGPT to write your book unless you do this. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Sean and I built a multiple six figure self-publishing business on Amazon KDP, which I eventually sold for $820,000 and now I'm building my second KDP account. So if you want no BS publishing advice from someone who's still actively self-publishing books on Amazon to this day, then make sure to subscribe. And if you want a completely free training on how I built my publishing business to this level, then the link is in the description below. All right, so there are a lot of hype regarding ChatGPT and writing books with AI content. There are a lot of channels talking about it. If you go to YouTube, you'll see a bunch of videos on writing books with ChatGPT. Now, ChatGPT can be a powerful tool, but you know, based on what I've seen from these videos on YouTube, if you follow what they're actually teaching you, you'll be risking your Amazon KDP account and potentially get yourself in trouble over the long run. You could risk your book being blocked or even having your KDP account potentially terminated. Now, this doesn't mean that you cannot use ChatGPT to assist you with writing your book, but there is the right way and the wrong way of doing this. So in this video, I'll show you how to do it correctly. The issue with many of these YouTube videos teaching you how to write books with ChatGPT literally just teaches you how to enter a prompt in ChatGPT, generate the text, copy paste that into your book and upload it to KDP. Now the issue is there are talks about Google penalizing blog posts written by ChatGPT and I believe the same thing will happen as well with Amazon in the near future. Because if you think about it, the last thing Amazon wants is to be flooded with low quality AI generated books. This is the same issue that we had with low content books. A lot of people flooded into low content, started pumping out low quality journals, notebooks, and then now a lot of those accounts are being banned. And I believe the same thing will happen with AI content. Now there are actually already tools out there that will detect if the text is generated by AI or not. So there's literally tools out there that'll tell you if the text is from ChatGPT or any other AI content or if it's actually human written. So what should you do? Well, you can use AI to generate content, but you have to make sure it is high quality as well as do a few things to make sure that the Amazon bots cannot detect that it is generated by an AI. So most YouTube videos on writing a book with ChatGPT will basically tell you to simply generate content on ChatGPT, slap a cover on it, and publish it on Amazon. You do not want to do this because this makes it very, very easy to detect that it is written by ChatGPT. So just to give you an example, I just generated a paragraph with ChatGPT. So if I would go and copy paste this and go to this website called originality.ai, if you guys want to check it out, the link is below this video as well. I'll go to new content scan, paste this content, go to scan now. And you can see right here that it has detected 95% of it being AI. So this is a website that can detect if the text is generated by an AI or not. And this is just one of many, many websites that does that. I'm pretty sure that Google already implemented this into their system. And I am sure that Amazon will also implement something like this to detect AI in the content that is uploaded. So instead of doing that, what you should do instead is the following steps. So first, you will use AI to assist you in the writing. So you can use ChatGPT to generate the content. But next, you will take that content into a rephrasing tool, as well as adding your own inputs and fact checking, right? So if you can do both, that'll be amazing. If not, at the very least, you want to take it through a rephrasing tool. So it's rewriting the content that is generated. The third step is to go through the check for AI and plagiarism. And the fourth step is finally to publish on KDP. So you're really only adding two extra steps that might take a little bit of time, but it is to ensure that your content does not get blocked and also that your account is safe long term. So let me give you an example. Let's say you want to create a book like this on interesting facts or something like a trivia book. I have a tool that tells me how much this book is making every single day in actual royalties, not in sales. So this book is making 21 to $25 in royalties from the paperback version, which means with the ebook audio hardcover, it's probably making about a thousand dollars or more every single month. Now, if you look inside the book, uh, the content is very, very simple. So it's basically just, you know, one interesting fact after another on random topics, in this case on animals. And then you just have uh, some images that you can easily source. So first we need our book title. So I just simply asked ChatGPT, write me a book title for a random fact book. And it came back with one title, 
but I want a little more. So I asked ChatGPT, can you give me five more titles? And I also told it, make it fun and witty because I wanted a title that more appeals to kids. So I got five more examples here. Brain Candy, a delicious collection of useless trivia. So that might be good depending on the audience. Fact or Fiction, separating the weird from the wonderful. The Book of Wow, astonishing facts that will blow your mind. And this is my favorite here, The Ultimate Trivia Compendium. Everything you never knew you needed to know. Now this title is great, but once again, do not just copy paste. So change it up a little bit, make it unique, but you can use this as a baseline. So now we can think about how we can make this book better than our competitors. Seems like our competitors had random facts about pretty much anything. So one thing we can do is we can separate our book into different categories. So what I did is ask ChatGPT, give me 50 different topics for this random fact book. And it gave me 50 topics, which essentially is like chapter ideas. Now what I'll probably do is I'll take a couple good ones from here, like animals, history, geography, uh, even sports, and maybe even world records. So now that I have the chapter ideas, I can use ChatGPT to kickstart the content generation part. So I asked it, give me 10 random facts about animals, and it came back with 10 random facts. But as we know, we don't wanna just copy paste this once again. So you want to first off, rewrite it, add your own input. If you have any extra knowledge that you can add to this, then that's always a plus. Now, another thing with ChatGPT is the facts are not always correct. So we have to go and fact check all of these informations. That'll be the next step. And in terms of rewriting content, there is a tool that makes it very, very easy. It is a free tool that you guys can use. It is called Quillbot. And how it works is basically you can just copy the text, paste it in here, and only allows you 125 words at a time. So you have to separate the text uh, in within 125 words, unless you guys want to pay for the premium subscription. So let's just cut that and click on paraphrase. Now what it's doing is basically rephrasing what we have on the left into a new phrase on the right. Now some of the sentences, as you can see, is a little bit weird after we rephrase it. So you can see this sentence right here that says, only elephants are incapable of jumping, which is a little strange, right? It's not the smoothest sentence. So we can click on here and then replace it with another word if you want to. And then that is how you can kind of change it up once again. But now we essentially rewritten uh, this content that is generated from ChatGPT made it unique, right? And also we wanna once again fact check and add our own inputs as well. And now if you take this content, paste it into originality.ai, click on scan now. And just like that, we have 0% AI and 100% original. So that is the key guys, is you wanna add this extra few steps, which is basically rewriting the content and don't just copy paste from ChatGPT. So what you want to do is to take this step for the rest of the book. And once your book is written, then now it's time to create your book covers. So one of the easiest ways to get your book cover is simply going to Fiverr and ordering from a gig that will typically cost you five to $20 per cover. Now Fiverr is not the highest quality, but it's not the worst either. It's better than making it yourself. Uh, it's not as good as if you would hire a professional service, but if you're just getting started, you're low on budget, then this is a great place to start. I'll leave a link to this gig that I do recommend for people who are low on budget and who wanna use Fiverr covers. This gig, even just for $10, they do create pretty good designs. So if you're just getting started, then definitely check it out. So once you have your book covers back and you also have your book manuscript, then the final step is to upload to KDP. So go to KDP, create your account or sign in. Next, you wanna click on create right here. Click on create ebook. All right, and you just wanna fill out the details. So once again, you can enter the title. For the author name, you can actually use ChatGPT to come up with pen name ideas as well. So I just asked, give me five fun pen names for this book. It came back with Trivia Queen, Fact Fiend, Curious Cat, Brain Buster, Random Renegade. And these are great ideas to get started with, but once again, do not just copy paste it. Uh, try and change it up a little bit. And also double check on Amazon if there are already other people with the same pen name because we do not want that. Now the last thing we need is the book description right here, which you can ask on ChatGPT as well. So in this case, I asked, can you write me a product description for this random fact book? Use the AIDA format. So AIDA stands for attention, interest, desire, and action, which is one of the most effective sales copy format that you can follow. So ChatGPT created a description for me. Uh, that says, do you love learning new things and impressing your friends with fascinating fact? If so, then you need to get your hands on our random fact book. And you can see that it filled out the interest section, the desire section, and the action section very effectively. So once again, we don't wanna just take this copy paste into KDP. We wanna take the same process. So go on Quillbot or rewrite it 
and then check on originality.ai. Make sure that the AI match percentage is low. And once you confirm that, you can paste that into KDP right here. And the rest is pretty easy, so I'm not gonna show you, but you just wanna put the keywords, category, follow the rest of the process, and you'll be able to publish the book. So in conclusion, guys, depending on the book topic, ChatGPT allows you to create these books extremely fast. But what you wanna keep in mind is you do not want ChatGPT to replace you as the writer. You wanna use ChatGPT as a tool to help you write. So don't use it as a replacement, use it as a tool. You wanna to make sure your book content is still high quality. You wanna fact check it. You want to make sure you add your input and also rewrite the content that is generated from ChatGPT and always check for plagiarism. Now, the final thing I would say is this. You want to make sure your book is good. Whether you write the book yourself or use AI to create the book, the main thing is you want to make sure that the book is high quality and it is serving the customers. All right, so that is it for the video on the correct way to use ChatGPT to write a book. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something. If you do want to check out my complete publishing course or the free training on how I built a multiple six figures a year self-publishing business, the link is in the description as well as all the tools and resources that I mentioned in this video. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys in the next one.